Hello and welcome. I'm Inga Maria Christensen from the SDU Centre for Teaching and Learning. And in this video, I'll explain some of the different ways in which you can upload materials to your Blackboard courses. Before you start uploading materials to your Blackboard course, make sure that you are in edit mode. Check the upper right hand corner of the screen. Simply click the on off button to turn edit mode on and off. With edit mode off, you can get an idea of what students see in your course. It's not an entirely accurate picture though, since you can still see and access the control panel below the course menu, which a real student cannot. But it's very useful to check things from a student perspective, since everything you create in Blackboard comes with the option Make Available to Students. If by accident you did not make a component available to students, clicking edit mode off will help you discover this. If you want to see your course from a student perspective, you can also enter student preview. When exiting student preview, you'll be asked whether the preview user should be deleted. Say yes to this to avoid cluttering the user list of the course. A third way to see a course from a student perspective is to contact us to get the student, uh, a test student that you can enroll in your courses. This will give you a more accurate picture regarding what is available to your students and what is not. Let's have a look at the basic options you have when you want to upload course materials to Blackboard. You'll find the options when moving your cursor to build content. The basic options are content folder, learning module, item and file. Let's have a closer look at each of these options. Content folders are useful if you have many level one components to organize. The level one components might be the number of weeks in your course, number of modules and number of topics to deal with. Only use folders if you have many components to store in each of these folders. Folders are great for organizing vast amounts of course materials, but note that using folders and maybe subfolders will create a deep hierarchy and requires many clicks before students actually get to the material they need. This is not very user friendly. Items are a very user friendly way of adding materials to your Blackboard course. Items are very versatile in that they can contain text, images, links, videos, attached files and so on. If you have few components to upload, items are ideal and can work as a sort of open folders. This will minimise the number of clicks to retrieve information and give your students a great overview and easy access. The option file is the least versatile way of uploading materials to Blackboard. With file, you can simply upload files to Blackboard. You can provide your file with a new name, a heading, but you cannot add comments. Only use file when you have few files to upload and when these are easily identifiable, such as the course description, the semester plan, etc. Note that these specific file types uh, just mentioned should be uploaded to the course information section. The learning module option can be used instead of a folder to give a website look and feel to your course materials. As you can see on the screen, the difference between a folder and a learning module is that the latter contains an index to the left which provides the students with an overview of all the contents. With a learning module you can force students to go from A to Z or you can allow them to move freely between the different pages of the module. Learning modules are ideal for collections that contain course materials, activities, tools, etc. on the same topic. They provide students with a great overview and are very, and are very suitable for the creation of self-study units or learning objects. We've now looked at different ways of uploading materials to your Blackboard course. However, you must also decide how students should view the resources that you upload. You can choose between three different types of views and you make your selection by clicking the menu item course materials and then clicking the arrow next to the heading course materials. Let's explore each of these three options in turn. I'll now show you what items in Blackboard will look like when you select each of the three views. First, we have the icons only view. As you can see, Blackboard's icon will be displayed above the heading of the item you have created. Students have to click the headings to see the actual contents of the item. So in this view, the item actually works as a folder. Then we have the icon and text view, which will display 
both the blackboard icon and the heading and the actual text that you typed into the item in question. Finally, we have the text only option that displays the heading and the text, etc., that you typed in. In this particular course, we're using the text only view. This enables us to use our own icons instead of blackboards. In this way, we hope to give our course a distinct look and feel. If you want to use your own icons, do the following. Choose the text only view. Create an item. Folders and learning modules can also be used. Type in a heading for your item. In the text box, insert a table with one row and two columns. This helps you control the position of icon and text, etc. Insert your icon image in cell 1 using the button Insert Edit Media. You can change the size of the image on the Appearance tab that becomes visible when you insert an image. Insert your text, etc. in cell 2. Click Submit and you have created an item with your own icon. Before uploading your resources for students to the menu item course materials in Blackboard, carefully consider the following. What would be the most logical way of structuring your course materials? Should they be organised by week, by module, by theme, by teacher or something else? What constitutes the logic of your course? Also remember that you must use this logic consistently and that it should be easy for you to maintain. Remember to look at it from a student perspective as well. Make it easy for students to find materials. Make sure that it only takes a few clicks to find the relevant resources. Also make sure that students do not have to do a lot of scrolling to reach and find what they need. That's all for now. Bye.